For simulating data intensive designs with HDL verifiers, FPG, and a loop, a PCI Express connection is now available. Here we're using a video processing design that takes a noisy and blurry 1080p video and removes the noise and sharpens it. Simulating 10 frames of 1080p video takes about 3 minutes in accelerator mode in Simulink. It uses frame to pixel and pixel to frame blocks from Vision HDL Toolbox to convert between full frame images in Simulink and streaming pixels in hardware while generating the control signals for the hardware. So the design that's targeted to run on the FPGA is already separated out cleanly from the test environment which will run in Simulink. However, we will replace those gateway blocks with FPG and the loop versions a bit later. So to get started, we want to first make sure our environment is set up correctly, meaning the path to our synthesis tool is set with the HDL setup toolpath command. And once things are set up, we can walk through the HDL workflow advisor. We start out by setting FPG and the loop as the target, and we're targeting a Cyclone 5GT for our board. When we select that, it sets our synthesis tool to Quartus 2. Now we can go down to FPGA in the loop settings and set the interface to PCI Express. From here we can right click on build FPGA in the loop and select run to this step. This takes about 28 minutes for this design to generate HDL, synthesize to RTL, program the FPGA, and generate the FPGA in the loop infrastructure. Once the FPGA is programmed, we want to make sure the PCI Express FPGA development board is recognized by the PC. Sometimes you'll need to reboot in order for it to be recognized. And before we simulate, we're going to make some modifications to the generated FPGA in the loop model for faster simulation. First, we'll substitute the gateway blocks with FPGA in the loop versions that allow you to configure the width of the data to be a single pixel, a line, or an entire frame. And HDL Verifier will take care of managing the conversion on the FPGA so it runs faster. And then we won't bother to compare the results versus the Simulink model, we can just watch the video output. Now with the design running on the Cyclone 5 board, with the data coming in via PCI Express, it runs much faster than the Simulink simulation. It takes about 30 seconds, or 0.3 frames per second. Remember our Simulink simulation in accelerator mode took 3 minutes for 10 frames, or 0.055 frames per second. So simulation and Simulink is great for interactivity and debugging as you design and refine your algorithm, but when you get to the point where you want to run multiple seconds worth of video data through it, HDL Verifier's FPGA in the loop over PCI Express can really accelerate your simulation time. 